Hi guys, what's up? It's me, Jimmy, AK. Windows 9 and Windows Server 2015 coming out next for around April or in July. So let's talk about Windows 9 first. Subscribe my channel. It's me, it's me, it's me, Jimmy, AK. I was just thinking to make my jingle, but I left that idea. Why the hell I can't sing the jingle in front of the webcam? Jimmy, 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 a geek. Okay, let's get the news out. So, Windows 9, basically, which will be the next version of Windows. To be, to be honest, it will be the next true successor to Windows 7, not to Windows 8 or Windows 8 per one. Just watch my Windows 8 or Windows 8 per one review. I hate Windows 8 and Windows 8 per one with passion. There's no doubt. Personally. I love Microsoft. This is my Nokia what, Lumia 1520. I love my Windows Phone 8, but I hate Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 desktop version. You see, Windows Phone is the best phone ever you can have, but Windows 8 and 8.1 is the worst operating system ever you can have. So, after defeat of Windows 8 and 8.1, so now Microsoft is thinking to release a big major version of Windows and try to call it a true successor to Windows 7 rather to Windows 9. So it means Windows 8 or 8.1 basically have only one strong price bloody security. It's robust. It builds the viruses the not come a lot. There's not much kind of crap happen. they much less crashed. So I mean Windows 8 or 8.1 is a smooth stable operating system. It is it is built basically in a much better way the kernel is much cl cleaner they did a much good code they try to secure the bloody security loops all in windows 7 but 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 windows 7 not so much stable in the term of cache it have less security but it get the work done it's real window so microsoft please give us windows the next window with same windows 7 with a robust security with a robust kernel with a robust interface do not give us a crap metro interface to be honest with you on on, on this phone on this phone the metro interface rocks but on a desktop the desktop does not have a touch screen even there's a crappy monitor out there to be honest with you who the hell is a touch screen monitor this bloody my mouse to be honest with you this is a quite old mouse microsoft mouse i'm a big fan of microsoft that does not mean i will like every crap microsoft put out so basically uh, in uh, uh, this month so, uh, september 30 in san francisco they gonna be a event from microsoft they are gonna announce the bloody window 9 basically i hope i hope it will be a true Windows 7 successor. If not, Windows 9 is going to collapse the Microsoft Empire, basically. And that they are going to announce the Windows 7 2015. Yes, I hate Windows 8 or 8.1 with passion, but I love Windows Server 2012. Even that it have a crappy, bloody you a metro interface. But if you can just bypass it and just try to use the Windows Server 12 in command, it's rock. So I'm really excited for Windows 9 and Windows Server 2015. To be honest with you, I'm really waiting to buy Windows uh, to to just uh, download a Windows Server 2015 next year and play with it. Basically, I'm waiting to buy the first book which will come on Amazon on Windows Server 2015. How to blah blah blah. I mean to try to play it, configure. It. I'm really into it. I'm I was just reading an article. Sim. Windows Server 2015 is going to change the game of Microsoft. Basically, it will be a major, major upgrade from Windows Server 2012. Basically, I'm just looking for N plus Windows 9. I'm hoping it is gonna be my next window. I'm going to have. basically I'm thinking to build a new co editing computer. I'm gonna put the i7 58 20k processor, the 6 core 12 third processor, and I'm gonna put the new GTX 970. Yes, indeed, yes, I'm gonna put IF1 gaming system. I'm using R9290, the reference card net, but 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 GTX 970 is much better for the CUDA core, it's much better for the uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and editing. And the GTX 970 is one of the good cards you can get around 300 US dollars. So I'm, I'm just looking to buy it. So Basically, I'm gonna build a new computer. I'm gonna put DDR4 my desktop. 
I'm gonna put the GTX 970. I'm gonna put the i7 5520K and then I'm put the Window 9 Professional Edition. Basically, I always use Professional. I never use Windows 7 or, or XP or even Vista, the Home Premium or the Home version. I always use Professional. If you're a geek, you should use Professional. Why the hell you need a Home Premium? Home Premium is from mommy and daddy. You should always pay extra. How much bucks? You should always pay extra around 50 US dollar to for the Professional version. Always go with a professional or pro version, basically which is the same. Why the hell you need a home premium version? In pro, they have a lot of extra things. You can have a domain controller or that kind of crap which you could not find in a norm normal home version. So guys, please let me know know what the hell you think. To be honest with you, I done a, I done a about a bladder about I I basically done a rant four months back just my watch that video window at that video I was saying window nine is going to collapse the Microsoft Empire. Basically at that time what was the rumors out there to according to the rumor means Windows 9 is going to be a true successor to Windows 8 rather than Windows 7 they are gonna put the same metro interface and then try to implement it to through our thought and then try to say you are gonna take it or not at a gunpoint basically. I'm not saying Windows 9 is not going to have the same crappy but 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 they are trying to utilize. At the start menu you will have the metro user interface um, I mean like like the Windows 7 start but right who the hell is calling me? Let's leave it. So at the Windows 7 start bar, when you click, it is going to have a small bar of metro interface rather than a full flesh screen. Basically, it means when you click in a Windows 7, your normal start start menu, right? Plus, you in Windows 9, you have Windows 7 start menu plus with a small line of like a like a window of a phone. Windows Phone 8 like a metro interface, very small, not a big bloody uh, screen, which to be honest with you, it, it's gonna rock. I mean, you can have a normal start menu plus with the metro start menu as a smaller screen, and then you can see the rest of your desktop letters, then seeing a bloody big crap of metro interface. Who Microsoft, I love it, I love it, I love my Windows Phone, I love Microsoft, but please make something solid, not try to make something crap. And then there is no use for Windows Phone 8, for, sorry, Windows Phone 9. I think Windows Phone 9 will come around 2016, early or too late 2015. We are going to hear around in September or August to the healthcare. To be honest with you, Windows Server 2015 is coming and Windows 9 is coming. So, what the guys you think? Are you into, are you going to upgrade to Windows 9 or not? Are you for the server guy, for the MC, SE or whoever doing the Microsoft certification? What do you think? Basically, if Windows Server 2050 come out next year, to be honest with you, I'm gonna do a class on Windows Server 2015 and then I'm gonna take the Microsoft certification of MC, SE, to Server 2015 and even I'm gonna teach you guys. So, Subscribe to my channel, leave your comment below. If you hate me, just hate me. If you like me, just like me. Because you cannot ignore me. I am Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy a geek. To be honest, I'm just th thinking to make a jingle out. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. To be honest, I'm just blurting, ranting it. To be honest, I really need a jingle. A lot of you guys saying why the hell I do not make an intro like a animation intro and a jingle. I don't know. Why the hell I need a jingle? I have my voice. I can sing a jingle like this. Jimmy, 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 okay. Subscribe. Bye bye.